Hi, this is Gail from Life and Splatters, and I'm going to show you this pretty painting. First, I want to show you my new favorite gold metallic paint, and it is Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents called Gold Mine. Uh, it's a beautiful base coat for a swipe. I also used Interference Red by Golden and the Micaceous Iron Oxide by Golden. I've mixed the gold mine with Floetrol and a bit of water, and I'm just going to use it as the base on the first half of the painting. I'm also going to use uh, PBO Silver, and my black is the Amsterdam formula of four parts American Floetrol with one part Amsterdam Black Oxide, and I'm going to use that as my swiping color to get some special lacing effects, and actually you'll see it's quite impressive. And with a damp paper towel, I draw the colors down over that gold base. And we've got some really beautiful cells coming through. What I really liked was the Amsterdam formula created this wonderful lacing that is at the bottom of the canvas. You'll see the gold and black. You'll see how that lacing and cells grows rather quickly. It's really quite pretty.
I'm quite pleased with how this is looking. But one thing I like to do when I have a, a center swipe is to tilt the canvas so that the horizon line has a little bit of irregularity. And it adds a little more interest if you, if you watch. I tilt this and now we've got something even more. The erratic and irregular quality is quite appealing to me. From here I'm going to do some schmears and I'm really pleased with this piece. So you can see here, the micaceous iron oxide came through. It's a deep, deep uh, charcoal gray, which stood out nicely against the silver. The black created beautiful cells and lacing, especially in the gold at the top of the painting. Uh, I think tilting the center line made it much more interesting as did the schmears, uh, both up and down. It's a, it has an unusual feel of depth at that center line. Uh, very pleased with how it came out. And so I want to thank you for coming along this journey with me. It's been uh, over a year, and I learn something new every day. Somebody asked me, you know, about painting and after some thought I realized that I step out of my comfort zone every time I do a painting. I think there's always a little bit of fear of uh, failure uh, but it shouldn't stop you. Uh, we're all learning with every piece we do and if you don't like it you can change it 
and if you really don't like it you can scrape it or you can paint over it later but with every painting you do that you step out of your comfort zone you really do learn something and you may find a style or a painting technique that you've put your own twist on and that becomes sort of yours it's actually uh, really wonderful so i encourage you to play i encourage you to uh, feel the fear and do it anyway so thanks again for coming along thank you for all your kind comments i am so overwhelmed and humbled by the things that you say uh, you're very generous to me and uh, i wish everybody a very merry christmas and a happy new year here's to health and happiness and a road to restoring uh, restoring the normalcy that we once knew. So thanks again. Let's keep playing with pigments and making beautiful things. Bye.